I'm here with David Telegraph, Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson. David County have just drawn 2-2 against Leeds United at Allen Road. Steve, your thoughts on that game? Uh, Topsy-turvy game. I uh, wasn't sure who was going to win it in the end. Both sides probably could have won it. Uh, I think it was a fair result in the end. Uh, the game swung, as I say, one way and then the other way. Uh, and all in all, you know, to come here, Allen Road, not the easiest place to come. Steve Evans has really got all the leads and, and they're a much improved side. Uh, and I think uh, a point at the end is a very good result. You know, Derby started well, Jeff Hendricks scored a wonderful goal, solo goal, great feet in the box, great composure, great finish. Uh, a few fans on social media were telling me it was a bit Archie Gemmell-esque in the dribble of the goal he scored for Scotland against Holland all those years ago. Uh, and at that stage, he had some control of the game, Derby. But then there was a, a goalkeeping error by Lee Grant. He'll know it was a mistake. I don't need to tell him that. He's an experienced goalkeeper. He came for a ball into the box, failed to get it. Then he flapped again at the ball and it was worked across and Sol Bamba scored for, for Leeds. 1-1. That gave Leeds a real lift at half-time. Came out second half. Again, both sides were at it. And when Leeds went ahead, Chris Wood scoring a header uh, from a Byron cross, which probably should have been cut out. Uh, at that stage, 2-1 up for the home side. I feared a little bit for Derby. But this Derby side's got a lot about it. You know, good character. They came back. Tom Innes came on as a substitute. Scored a fantastic goal. Great finish. Low across the keeper into the bottom corner for 2-2. And as I say, at the end of the day, I think that's a really good point. One frustration for Derby, Steve, is that Jason Shackle didn't last the game. He had to come off in the first half. What's the update on him? Yeah, he did. Uh, he's, Paul Clements just told me he's jarred his ankle. Uh, and they're hoping, it's a bit too early to tell how bad it is, but they're hoping that he'll be okay for, for Middlesbrough on Saturday. So, you know, fingers crossed on that one. Uh, it's never easy when you've got to change your back four. Derby's back four has been very settled and very solid for quite a while now. And so Ryan Shotton had to come on, and, that, and that's not easy for him. He's not had much football at all. I think the last time he featured was against Brentford about three months ago, so a long time. Uh, he settled down a bit better second half. Uh, but I say, I think they're hoping that Jason Shackle, the, the injury's not too bad and that he can play on Saturday. And the draw here tonight, Steve, means that Dab County stays second, one point behind Middlesbrough, the leaders, and of course the Rams now go to Middlesbrough on yes. Saturday. Big game. What a way to start the new year, you know. Yeah, Derby, you know, it might be a bit disappointing they haven't gone back top tonight, but one point behind the leaders, Middlesbrough. More significantly, four points ahead of the third place team, Hull. Nice little gap there. And I think, you know, going into the Middlesbrough game now, they'll be going there confident. Middlesbrough are in good form as well, as we know. They don't give any goals away, so it's going to be a tough, tough game. But, uh, as I say, second place at the end of 2015. Very, very healthy.